What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. So you and a friend go to a bakery and together you buy 31 cookies. Your friend purchases five less than twice the amount of cookies that you purchase. Each cookie costs a dollar and 50 cents. How much does each of you spend on your purchases? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're told that the total amount of cookies bought is 31, but we don't know how many cookies you buy and how much your friend buys. So that's what we have to figure out first, the amount of cookies. And then once we know the amount for each of you, we can just multiply those amounts by $1.50 per cookie to get the total amount spent. Okay, so we first have to deal with the quantities, the amount. So I'm going to introduce two variables. I'm going to let x equal the number of cookies that you buy. And then I'm going to let y equal the number of cookies your friend buys. And let's see what kind of equations we can create with the information that we're given. So we're told that together you buy 31 cookies. So in total, there's 31. So basically the sum of these, so we'll have x plus y is equal to 31. And then the next sentence, you gotta read it carefully. Your friend purchases five less than twice the cookies you purchase. Okay, so you purchase an x amount of cookies. So if we take that amount, multiply it by two, well, five less than that amount is the amount that your friend buys. All right, so one more time, your friend purchases five less, your friend right here purchases five less than twice the amount of cookies that you purchase. Okay, so that's how we can create an equation. You gotta read these questions carefully. I recommend reading through the sentences multiple times. The together you buy 31, that's easy, but maybe this next sentence, you just wanna make sure because you can really sometimes mess up the wording and then mess up the equation. So maybe you would write like, I don't know, y minus five is equal to two x, which would be incorrect, right? This is the correct equation. So make sure you're just reading these carefully. And now we have two unknowns and two equations. So we could solve for them. And notice that the y is already isolated. So let's do substitution. We could take this 2x minus 5 and plug it in for this y. So we'll have x plus 2x minus 5 equals 31, like that. So we'd end up, there's like a 1 in front of this bracket. So we could just get rid of the bracket. Bring the negative 5 over. 31 plus 5 would give us 36. Two, uh, x plus 2x, those are like terms. There's like a 1 in front. That would be 3x divided by 3, divided by 3. x would be 12. Okay, so that's the amount of cookies that you purchase. This is you right here. And then we could take this 12. We could plug it into either here or here. It doesn't matter to get the y value, we're gonna get the same thing. Notice if we take 12, if we plug it in here, bring it over 31 <clears throat> minus 12 would give us a y value of 19. If we take the 12, plug it in here, two times 12, which is 24, minus five would also give us 19. So this here is the amount of cookies that your friend purchases, right? And you could test it, 19 plus 12, 31, and then five less than twice the amount that you purchase. So two times 12, 24 minus five is 19. Okay, but remember this is the amount over here. This is not the amount that you spend. This is the quantity, the number of cookies that each of you are buying. So you gotta read these questions super carefully. Sometimes they'll be asking you for the quantity, but sometimes they'll add extra information like this where you have to solve for something else. And on a multiple choice test, how much does each of you spend? They may put these solutions there, the quantity solutions, right? And if you circle that, it wouldn't be correct, right? Because these aren't dollar amounts, they're the number of cookies. If you wanna get the dollar amounts, so the amount spent by you, it would be the amount of cookies you buy, 12 times the price per cookie. 150, which 
would be $18. So that's the amount that you spend and then the amount spent by your friend would be the 19 cookies that they buy times the 150 per cookie and then that there would give you $28.50. So that's the amount spent by your friend. And maybe sometimes they'll ask different stuff. Maybe they'll sometimes ask how much more money does your friend spend than you? Then you would take the difference between these, right? So it would be 1050 then. Or how many more cookies does your friend buy than you? Then you would take the difference. It would be seven. So you got to be really careful. You got to read carefully what the question is asking.